All right then, my friends. So we're in a good place at the minute. We've set up our GraphQL server and everything's kind of working well together. One thing's bothering me at the minute and that's this dummy data right here because typically we're not gonna have this kind of data in our schema file. In production, we're more likely to store our data in some kind of database. Now, we're gonna be using a MongoDB instance to store our data in. So if you feel like you need a refresher on MongoDB before you embark on this journey, then I would recommend that you check out my MongoDB tutorial series here on YouTube. The link is gonna be down below for that. Anyway, for the rest of us, if you don't feel like you need a refresher, what we're gonna do is sign up for MongoLab or MLab, which is an online service which allows us to spin up a MongoDB instance and store our database online. So it just saves an awful lot of setup when it comes to doing MongoDB and we don't have to do anything locally. So let us go to MLab. I'm going to open this browser and it's mlab.com. You can sign up for a free account by clicking here. I'm just going to log in right now. And let me just enter in my username and password if I can remember them. So let's cross our fingers, hope for the best. Cool, I'm in. All right. So what we want to do now is create a new uh, MongoDB deployment. So a new instance of a database, if you like. So let us do that and I'm going to go to Sandbox, which is free. I'm going to stay with Amazon and I'm going to click on continue. Uh, the region doesn't really matter, I suppose, for the, uh, the sake of this tutorial. Continue again. The database name I'm going to call GQL-Ninja, so GraphQL Ninja, and press continue again. Submit order. It's absolutely free, so I don't know why they call it an order. But uh, anyway, this is going to spin up an instance of... MongoDB on MLab for us so that we can use it to store our data in. So it might just take a minute or so just for it to set up fully. When you see that green tick, it means it's set up. So let's go in here. And the first thing we need to do is create a user for this database. Now, this means that someone can have read and write access to the database, right? So we're going to use this user from our application from our GraphQL server later on. So let's add a database user. I'm just going to call this Sean and the password is going to be test123 and test123 again. Really secure. <laughs> okay, let's create that. And then when we've done that, we have our database user. At the minute, if we go to collections, you're going to see nothing is in here at the minute. So it's not storing any data. We need to do that later on. Now, how do we connect to this database from our application? Well, really simply, we're going to use this connection string right here. So I'm going to copy that to my clipboard so we can use it inside the code in a minute. Now then, before we start writing any code, what we're going to do is install a package called Mongoose. And that is an ORM. And it basically makes communicating with the database much easier. All right. So let's open up our console and install that first of all. I'm going to cancel out of this process. Control C, then yes. Then I'm going to say npm install mongoose. Now, again, if you have an old version of npm, you're going to need to use the save flag right there. I think it's version 5 or more. You don't need to do that. So this is going to go out and grab mongoose for you. All right, then. So now that has installed, we can go ahead and require it up here. So I'll say const mongoose is going to be equal to require then mongoose and we're going to use mongoose to connect to the database as well so right here i've made a couple of comments saying connect to the mlab database make sure to replace my database string and credentials with your own okay because by the time you do this video then i probably won't have that database set up all right so i'm just going to do now mongoose dot connect this is going to allow us to connect to that database and all we need to do is pass in the connection string which we got from our database right here all right so paste that in the only thing you need to do is replace this with that user that we set up for the database i called mine sean and then the password as well which i put down as test one two three all right then so we have this now um, we're connecting to the database. What I want to do is say mongoose.connection.once. This is an event listener. And we're saying once the connection is open, 
Then what I want you to do is fire a callback function. And this function is going to be an ES6 arrow function, like so. And inside this function, all I'm going to do is log a message to the console. And this message is going to say connected to database. Just so we know when that connection has been made. All right then, so if we now run this app.js file, it should connect to our MongoDB instance on MLab and fire this thing right here, this function, when it's connected, all right? When that connection is open. So let's give this a whirl. I'm gonna say node mon app to run this file. And we should see now in a second, a log to the console. Okay, so first of all, now listening for requests on port 4000, then we get this one connected to the database. All right then, so now we've connected to that online instance of MongoDB, so we can start to store our data in it. But before we do that, what we'll need to do is create a Mongoose model and schema for our data types inside MongoDB. And we'll do that in the very next lesson.